Last time we did um, looked at the definition of knowledge and knowledge is something which uh, is according to how the reality is or how the fact is or corresponds to the reality. So if I'm saying it is raining and it's actually raining then it is knowledge. And now he's defining ignorance, well, jahl. So jahl is, uh, the way he's defining jahl or ignorance is the almost the exact opposite of knowledge. So, tasawur shayya la khilafi ma huwa fil waqi'ah. So, if you have a conception of thing which doesn't match the reality, then it is ignorance according to Giovanni. Um, so, for example, the Savur so you have a conception of a thing. Ala Khilafi Mahua Filwaqi. Now, so that's the fact of reality, and this is a conception of a thing. And it doesn't match the reality, it doesn't correspond. It's a non correspondence, so fails to correspond. Corresponds. So there's no one to one. Um, match between your conception and the reality so then you have you don't have knowledge you have you don't have ilm you have ignorance and that's called al jahl um, so for example if uh, I think that it is raining outside for whatever reason but I actually go out and it's not raining there are no signs of rain at all then I say I was ignorant or my belief was false so that would be ignorance now In fact, um, Giovanni uh, Imam al here, uh, the way he defined um, ignorance, uh, he defined it as only one type of ignorance. So let's look at some other definitions it's from At-Tarifat, for example. Um, so, see Sharif Jajani, <clears throat> last time we looked at his definition of knowledge. And this time also, we should also look at his definition of. So, according to him here, so his definition of jahl. What's the? In the ulama al kalam, he says, al jahlu huwa itkadu shayya la khilaf ma huwa alayh. So. Like his definition of knowledge, he introduced another concept uh, defining al jahl as well. The same, etikad, etikad shifts, not the sabr but etikad. So belief. So ignorance is a belief. Uh, Allah, khilaf. Mahua. So if you have a belief which is which doesn't correspond to reality then you are let's say you don't have knowledge or your belief is false or belief is wrong and uh, you don't have knowledge you have all jahl you are ignorance and you are ignorant uh, of that um, fact or you yeah, are misinformed about that that fact now um, 
Sayyid so Sharif Jojani says that there is a, an object, possible objection to this definition, and that objection is that وَاَعْتَرَدُوا عَلَيْهِ بِأَنَّ الْجَهْلَ قَدْ يَكُونُ بِالْمَعْدُومِ some people have uh, objected to this definition of ignorance as a belief in a thing by saying that sometimes we are ignorant about thing which doesn't exist. So we think something exists, for example, which doesn't exist, so we are ignorant. But that thing is not thing because it is nihil or nothing or madum. So here... Um, answers that objection he said this objection doesn't seem valid because when we are talking about uh, a shay or that's not something which exists out there here or the, is something in the mind so i have a belief in the belief in my mind about something that is exists but it turns out that it doesn't exist so, um, so, so this objection is not valid. Now, <clears throat> so this, these are the definitions of uh, ignorance. Now, normally they, um, so al yeah, ignorance. So normally they. Divide um, ignorance into two types Al Jahl al Basit and Al Jahl al Murakab. So, Al Jahl al Basit is simple ignorance, Basit means simple ignorance. And Murakkab in compound, so Al Jahl al Murakkab is compound ignorance. And Jomani's definition of knowledge actually is what they normally define compound ignorance as. But there, there are two ways in which um, you can, um, or they, uh, divide and define simple or differentiate simple from compound ignorance. The first way is to say that if you don't know something, so that's simple. Simple ignorance. So if you don't know something and you know that you don't know that thing then this is simple ignorance let's call it si a okay so for example i know that I don't know, sorry, let's use another one. So, I don't know how many administrative regions are in, say, Turkey. I know that, I don't know that, and I know that I don't know that, so I have simple ignorance, so that's called simple ignorance. Now, <clears throat> uh, compound ignorance, according to this type, then, so compound ignorance, according to this way, or this classification, is... If you don't know something, uh, 
if you don't know something um, and or but you think you know that thing or you don't know that you don't know that thing that you don't know that thing so then it, this is compounding igno ignorance so, um, and um, so for just take the same example which we gave there um, if I don't know how many administrative regions are in Turkey um, but I think that I know then I or I don't know that I don't know that's compound ignorance and I might think that 13 or 10 for example but they are and even if they are correct they are just accidentally correct correct you know no not based on knowledge so that's one way they differentiate between simple ignorance and uh, compounding uh, ign ignorance and they say in according to this c classification they always say that like Muslim scholars um, um, that uh, simple ignorance can be <laughs> cured but compound ignorance cannot be cured because person even doesn't even know that he doesn't know or she doesn't know that's why um, they say that uh, la adri it is in this context i think la adri nisfalin ah nisful ilm saying saying i don't know i don't know is half the knowledge why because since you know that you don't know then you can actually <laughs> go on and try to find out but if you don't know that you don't know then obviously it's very it's hard for you to um to get over this type of ignorance i mean it's not impossible but it's hard now so this is one way they divide uh, there's another way um, to differentiate between simple ignorance uh, and um, compound ignorance and that's what um, uh, uh, C. Sharif Jirjani uh, does here he said al jahlul basit simple ignorance wa admul ilm amma min shani an yakuna alim wa admul so wa admul ilm amma min shani an yakuna alim wa admul ilm amma min shani an yakuna alim so simple ignorance or al jahl al basit according to this definition is admul uh wa admul ilmi wa admul ilmi amma Min shanihi an yakuna alim. It's not entirely clear, but basically, what I understand by this, um, correct me if I'm wrong here, yeah. wa admul ilm, so not knowing or more correctly absence of knowledge about something um, about 
inne about something. Min kön är ju kunna element which about something which can otherwise be known or something like that. Be known. So in this definition, uh, simple ignorance is just not knowing something. Okay. Um, so it is absence of knowledge about something which you otherwise can know easily so that's simple ignorance for him just lack of knowledge or absence of knowledge about something now compound uh, ignorance on the other hand al jahl al murakkab huwa ibaratun an i'tikad jazim min ghayr mutabiq lil waqi so compound ignorance and compound ignorance al jahl al murakkab according to this the huwa i'tikadun jazimun so it is a belief firm belief um غير مطابق للواقع So the first one was just the absence of knowledge or absence of any belief as such um, so he, But here is a certain belief that you know something but that doesn't correspond to reality so basically compound knowledge is false belief according to this definition and imam uh, imam al harman's definition is uh, actually similar he said the sabur shayi conception of a thing ghair mutabiq lil waqi so which doesn't correspond to reality so he defined ignorance as what is actually compound ignorance so he thinks that compound ignorance is the only basic type of ignorance which he wanted to deal with that so these were the definition of knowledge oh sorry definition of knowledge we did in the last video and this is these were the definitions of ignorance and type of ignorance um, and I took the type of, type of ignorance um, before the types of knowledge because they are, you know, well, only a couple of types. On the other hand, types of knowledge are a bit more complex. So we'll look at the types of knowledge next next video. Thank you.